So it's such an exciting day for me today because I'm harvesting the early main crop potatoes. Obviously we've been harvesting the super early main crop ones back in April, if you've been watching, and we've been harvesting obviously new potatoes all through the year. But um, yeah, this is a special crop for me, you know, in part because it's so incredibly productive, but also it's just such an easy crop to grow. And, uh, you know, it doesn't require me to jump through many hoops or anything like that. It's just really exciting. So, um, yeah, I, the way I'll explain how I grow it, I'll just pop up a little video of me harvesting the potatoes as I go along. So basically start the potatoes kind of middle of March, plant them out about the middle of April. So I start them out in two litre pots in this conservatory under these grow lights and they just stay under there for about two weeks um, after they've broken surface and then they get planted out. Now, middle of April, still got plenty of frost around, so they do need some frost protection. I put them in one of my deep cold frames just after I finished harvesting the overwintered carrots and then they just stay in that cold frame uh, with the lid on for about till about the middle of May, generally speaking. And I, by that time, we've got no risk of frost, so the lid comes off and they just grow, you know, without any uh, extra TLC apart from a little bit of water. So it's a super early thing to grow. And there's not really that many other things that you can grow in that time window from planting middle of April to harvesting now. And so it's really nice. It's a great crop, really. I think yeah, it's a great use of that deep coal frame. So after I've done that, carrots are going to go back in that and uh, hopefully we'll have some nice late carrots back in April again. So yeah, so we, I've just harvested them actually, I've just weighed them and the Charlottes did a little bit better than the Estima. The Estima are an amazing baking potato, they're kind of the one that you generally see in a lot of supermarkets. Um, Nebby's just had one actually, she said it was absolutely superb and uh, so that's what we're aiming for. Uh, the Charlottes also make a really nice baking potato, a little bit bigger harvest because they're a second early rather than an early main crop. But as you can see really from the size of the harvest, there's not really a huge difference. There's only about sort of one pound or two pound, one and a half pounds sort of difference between the two. And to be honest, you know, that is not really worth bothering about. So it's basically going to come down to which are the best tasting, which keep the best for this time window from the end of June until the beginning of August. Because it's not a great time to be storing potatoes. We all store ours in a big cardboard box with a fleece blanket over the top in the shed. So out of any sunlight, as cool as we can get it. But obviously it's not cool in July. So they don't keep incredibly well. Um, ideally, of course, I would just leave them in the ground and harvest them as required. But of course, I need that bed for, um, for the carrots. So there is the option of storing some in damp compost. And I might consider doing that for about half of them. So um, yeah, really, really pleased with the harvest this year. Pretty much the same, to be honest, as the harvest the previous two years. But, you know, you soon forget the joy of those old harvests. So it's really nice to uh, get it done again. So this is the total crop, just lightly cleaned up. And this side are the charlottes. And the harvest on the charlottes is slightly bigger. Um, I actually put the weights up on the screen as I'm talking. And the Estima as I say, slightly smaller. So I think it was only like a pound or one and a half pounds in it. Uh, the Charlotte's obviously been a second early, so it's no surprise that they are slightly bigger. And the Estima being an early main crop, but both of them basically ready at the same time. There's no point leaving them in the ground any longer than that. And the carrots, which are gonna follow them, will really enjoy the extra few weeks because I was gonna leave them until the first week in July. So these are the potatoes that will last us through July and into August. And uh, then these are the potatoes down here that uh, will last us for the rest of the year and into next year. So if you want to know more about all the different successions and tips and tricks and things of how I grow the potatoes all year round, all different types of potatoes all year round, of course, 
uh, then take a look at the ebook linked in the description below and take a look in the individual growing guides section and the section on potatoes. So my name is Steve, this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon.